My name is Tom Clark. I've been with Choices for 18 years now. What I enjoy most about the work I do is building relationships with the young people, uh, getting to know them, and helping them out to work on their goals, you know, whether it be education, employment, health, uh, just seeing, a lot of, seeing the young people make a big change in their life, you know, with some support. And it's amazing what they can do when they have some support in their lives, so it's really rewarding at the end of the day to see, you know, the success stories and see all of the, and they all have success stories and to see the changes that they make as you're helping them through it. Yeah, I definitely miss all the young people at the Lily. You know, we stay in contact actually. They come down to visit us on the picket line. Uh, they've uh, been sending messages. Uh, they've even tried to make phone calls and stuff. So we really miss the young people. We want to get back to the young people. That's what we're all about, you know. Uh, this, that's our role, that's our job, and we really miss them. We're determined to see this through. You know, we, we feel like uh, that's the a deal is there, you know, we're very close to a deal. It, it's only a very small piece, you know, uh, to get us back to work. Um, and we're just hoping that the employer comes back to the table and uh, sits down and talks to us to get that last item outstanding dealt with. And we feel like it's very easily resolved, but we are determined to stay up as long as we need uh, to, you know, to get this resolved. You know, we just want to be treated fairly. By, by choices, you know, we did we did go 12 years without a raise, so that is certainly a piece that uh, you know is on the table, you know. Um, but it's it's about a lot more than money for us. It's it's about having you know fair treatment and fair uh, contract, and them acknowledging actually the work that we do. I think the move to put them in hotels was unnecessary. Uh, I, I, don't, I still don't understand why they done it. You know, uh, if they were if we were up picketing the lily. Cars and the ruckus interfering with their routines and their lives and all that stuff, and then they moved them. Oh, I, I probably understand that a little bit more, but to move them with, for no reason whatsoever, to uproot them, those young people struggle with change for the most part, most of them do. Um, and we've heard from them, they didn't want to be moved. They've been asking to go back home almost daily uh, to the management. I guess our team have gotten stronger through, throughout it all, to be honest with you and we stand united and together and very appreciative to all the support that all the people have given us. All we want is fairness and respect. 